Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Coining with Gautam, and today we will be doing Lesson 8, The Loops Make. So practice making an app that uses loops and programming patterns with loops. So this is called a lock screen maker. So let's try it out. So let's reset. So we have just home screen and lots of icons. So what does each button change and what does it not change? So where, if at all, do you think an app is using a list? Where, if at all, do you think the app is using a loop? So let's run. As you can see, well, it's just random shapes, random sizes, and random colors, and random locations. So if I click colors, it randomizes the color of the home screen and each element with a sound effect. Let's try locations. It changes the positions of the stars. Then I click shapes. It changed the shape. So as you can see, we just basically have a randomizer of colors, locations, and shapes. So where do you think the app is using a list? Well, I'd like to see this in the comments. So what do you guys think? But on the loops, we can see that it is using a loop. So using a loop because since there's icon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, you can see that instead of instead of reinstating each icon, it would I think it would be using a for loop. But then also, I think it would be using a loop for that. And also making making sure that while the button is pressed, it changes. So, let's do the make. Alright. So, here is the code. Let's go through it. So first, we have the icon index. So, it's the list of icons, which we have the heart, the music, the smiley, O, oh, the globe, the tree, the bolt, the moon, and the star. So, these are just different icons. And then I have the icon index, which we will be using later. So now this changes the shapes when the button is clicked in the change shape function. So on event, we click the shapes button, which is right here, it changes shapes. So let's look at what the change shape function does. So it takes an icon index, which is basically a random number between zero and the length of the list. So we'll be doing so. And remember, it's minus one because we start with zero. So it's using a random number between between zero and zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically zero through seven, and so that zero through seven creates a random number, which then we use indexing to get the right icon from the list. Then we use a for loop, like I've said, we've been using to instead of doing icon one, icon two, icon three, icon four, icon five, we just concatenate i, which is supposed to be an increasing value, into the icon string. If you have doubts about this, check out my last video where I explain everything. But then, let's go on back now. So once we click the random locations button, it does again, we do a for loop so we can just concatenate everything. And then it chooses a random number of x, it chooses a random y, it chooses a random width, and it chooses a random height. So this accounts for shape and location. But then, now it makes the home screen a random cover so it's not bland. So it sets property home screen and a background color. So the property home screen and its property background color to a random color. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 on the RGB scale. Then it changes colors where the color button is clicked by just calling the change colors function, which is where you do the same for loop again and then you change the icon color to a random RGB color. So let's run. Oh, yeah, my program is a little slow. So it changed the colors, it's changing the location, it's changing shapes. And then, yeah. So this is it guys. This is the loops make. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. This is Corning with Gotham and I'll see you next time.